Jordan Air. An SEC matchup. The Auburn Tigers still alive in the SEC West as they take on Mississippi State in front of a packed house. Goodman sends it deep. Amaya Pritchett from just outside the five yard line. And pretty good field position across the 30 before he is tripped up. Behind Nicks in the pistol. Play action for Bo Nix. First play of the game. He's looking downfield. Wide up and over the middle. Shedrick Jackson trying to split the safeties. Well, that will improve your early body language when you hit a big play at 48. Distancy to which Bobo is calling these plays early. Bigsby at the goal line. He's in for an early touchdown. Very impressive opening drive for Auburn. Number three all time at Auburn in career scoring. Number two, of course, his brother Daniel. <laughs> action on second down. Swing pass. Marks to the sideline, and he's got a first down. Yeah, and this is the matchup of the game. Talking to Coach Harson of late as well. Normally they do that at home. Very true. Really impressive if they did yes. that at the shoe. <laughs> Woody Marks. On third down and short to the right of Will Rogers. Rogers to throw. Slam. Broken. Makai Polk, the intended receiver. You got it. Play clock down to two, down to one. They get the snap off. And there's a little button hook. 4 8 first down to Jaden Wally. Control. Ball control, short throws, make the defense tackle in space. Expect another short throw here to try to find some green grass. Christian Ford back out there as one of the receivers. As that back shoulder throw intended for Makai Polk, incomplete. But now for an offensive lineman, you would expect a defensive After player. The play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 99. Yeah. Defense. It's a 15-yard penalty. Carries an automatic first down. And a field goal loss. Rogers. Dumps it off. Woody Marks. He is down to about the 12-yard line. Here is what Mike Leach said last week. I guess this is his tryout. <laughs> tryout number one. Good for you, Nolan McCourt. Right down the middle. Who is it? Jacquez Hunter, the true freshman in the backfield. Keeper for Nick. Swing pass out to the edge. Javarius Johnson. Oh, does he have another gear? They're not going to catch him. Javarius Johnson to the house. 57 yards. They gave Bo Nix a touchdown pass to them and deny that group of five team a spot. Be fascinating to watch down the stretch. After the timeout, third down and long. Only a three-man rush, but it gets home! Rogers keeps the play alive. Slingshots one to the sideline. And Makai Polk's gonna come up short. On his play sheet, get Bo Nix outside the pocket. Get him comfortable. And that play in rhythm. Press Hunter into the secondary, and the freshman's got a first down. Perfect protection again for Bo Nix. And again, it's Shepard Jackson. He's got seven. Look, and blitz. Looks like Bo Nix sees it coming. They'll drop out, rush only three. He double clutches and still is able to squeeze one into Demetrius Roberts. Second down and five in the red zone. Design rollout. Shot to the sideline. Toe tapping is Kobe Hudson. And it looks like he's going to. Bootleg out to the right. Bo Nix looking back in the end zone. Touchdown. Luke Deal. First touchdown catch of the season for Luke Deal. And the third. 
And a long 11. Again, only a three-man rush. But it's a check down and nowhere to go for Woody Marks. Pressure to try to disrupt this Auburn offense. Bo Nix all day to throw once again and finds an open receiver in Robertson. You've got receivers running three and no to run the ball. Makes it real tough on the defense. A lane for Bigsby. Second effort. And that might get him a first down. Let's see if they mark him down shy of the line. He help over the top, so will they bring this pressure at the bottom of your screen? Comes a blitz. And that is hauled in with one hand by Kobe Hudson for a first down. Wide receiver screen from Johnson. Out of bounds short of the 15-yard line. So the Tigers are now two for three on Touchdowns on offense. Anders Carlson tacks on another point after, and it is 28 to 3. Statement by all. Auburn after the three point performance last week, 20 to 3 loss to Texas AM. They have dominated the first half here, but here's a first down. Pitch and catch to Christian Fours. That one, he's got to let him go. Man rush. Rogers steps up in the pocket. He's going to take off and run again. And it'll be fourth down. And you're right. It seems like a no brainer. Again, the play clock winding down. It's a two. They get the snap off. Rogers rifles one along the hash marks, and he's got a first down to Austin Williams. Pickup. Important pickup. All the time in the world. And about eight yards on first down into the. Just to throw. And the end zone. Touchdown. Makai Polk. Just what Mississippi State needed. With a buck 55 to go before halftime. That was the statement that Mississippi State needed to go into halftime. Lynn McCord. It's the extra point. Knicks over the middle in stride. He's got Kobe Hudson. Right to midfield. Johnson screen pass yeah. touchdown. Turn that into a running play. Would have been 57 more yards for Bo Nix. He finds Kobe Hudson here. Easily picks up a first down. We'll stop the clock for the moment for him. A three-man rush. Nix over the middle, and that's incomplete. Thrown behind Kobe Hudson, so they fail to pick up any yards. Got it away. Looks like it's got the distance, but it's no good. Pushed it out to the right, and now 12 seconds to go in the half, and misses. 15 of 19 for 205 yards, not too bad. Back shoulder throw, a little push off, and Malik Heath executed it perfectly as he walled off. It's the way defenses had to play them the last two weeks. It's just been absent. And no balance today, as Will Rogers about to put it up for the 33rd time in the game. The rush breathing down his neck, but he is able to outlet to J.J. Jernigan for a first down, a gain of 15. In the second quarter, the first touchdown that Auburn has allowed defensively in eight quarters. And they're looking to go back to back here. Play action for Will Rogers. As all day, finds a little check down to Dylan Johnson. Speed to the sideline, and Dylan Johnson steps out of bounds near the 10 yard line of the seventh running play of the day so far for Mississippi State. And goes Woody Marks in motion. A slant at the goal line, reaching back. Jameer Calvin holds on for the touchdown. Wow. It's been a 12 point lead and an 11 point lead. And the 
board is able to come through. And let's come back on third down and see what we can't dial up. What a big chance for Mississippi State on defense. Now in an 11-point game, can they get a stop on third down? They'll rush four. Next to the sideline, and they will get that stop on third down. John Samuel Shanker steps out of bounds. Ball game with this possession. Mississippi State starting at their two-yard line. Rodgers out of the end zone. Gets it to the sideline. Jaden Wally makes a man miss, and he's got nine yards. A huge play. That, that ocean breathing down the neck of Mississippi State for third down and three. Rodgers incomplete. Makai Polk looking for a flag, and there it is. These three receivers at the bottom of the screen. They've only run the ball seven times in their 46 plays. And there goes Woody Marks emptying the backfield. Rodgers over the middle. In stride, he's got Ra Ra Thomas. Big third down conversion for Mississippi State. Sneak it up, play clock at one. They get the playoff. Rodgers well protected. Another shot over the middle. Malik Heath, a catch and run for a first down and more. All the way down to the 22 yard line of Auburn. How about Heath there? Pump fake. Rodgers checks it down. Dylan Johnson wide open. He's inside the 10. Hurdles down to about the four. Rodgers looked at his check down. Now he's looking at the end zone. Dumps it off. Front pylon, Dylan Johnson. He's got a Mississippi State touchdown. Has this game completely done a 180. And of course, we'll go for two to try and make this a field goal game. Woody Marks in motion. Rodgers under pressure. Down he goes. TD Moultrie denies the two-point conversion of the Big 12 as well. Third down and eight now with all the momentum headed towards Mississippi State. Bo Nix, he's going to take a shot. Out in front, drops it in. Javarius Johnson. What a big momentum swinging play that is. In the pocket here, he's looking for the end zone. Floats one and it's broken up. Robertson, the intended receiver. Emmanuel, 35 yards out. Mississippi State blocks the field goal and keeps it a five-point game. Special teams so often has hurt Mike Leach's team. Now they make a big play on special teams to help. Only a three-man rush. All day to throw for Will Rogers, and he finds Austin Williams. First down to the 42-yard line. Any speed on the sidelines. Well, they could use him in the fourth quarter if he can get back out there, but right now this offense is rolling. Will Rogers jump ball to the sideline, and the 50-50 ball is won by Malik Heath. It's another first. Second down and five. Blitz off the edge. Back the other way to Austin Williams. Right about at the first down line again. game. On number seven, Woody Marks. Last drive down, it was Dylan Johnson catching the touchdown. Our running back's been a mismatch down here in the red zone. Rodgers in the end zone and is good for a touchdown. Makai Polk has given Mississippi State the lead. Woody Marks at the goal line, is he in? No signal as of yet. Mississippi State thinks he got in. And the officials say no. They run it again, and again, nothing there for Bigsby. Lost the football, and Bo Nix, it looks like, jumped on top of it. DeMonte wow. Russell, this punt from Oscar Chapman. Mississippi State with the lead could get great field position. A wobbly kick 
Fair catch called for and made by Williams at the 45 of the Bulldogs. A red hot Mississippi State offense with their best field position of the day. And Rodgers, another hookup to Makai Polk. Another first down as they. Quick toss, Dylan Johnson cuts it back. Dylan Johnson looking for a block, hurdles a man. Out of bounds inside the 15, down at about the 14 yard line. Johnson again. It's to the five yard line. It'll be first and goal at about the three. I'll tell you what, this, this Auburn defensive front look. Rodgers at the goal line, walking into the end zone. Jameer Calvin with another Mississippi State touchdown. It's hey, go that way. <laughs> you got man coverage. Use, use all that space out there. Me about third down and six. Bo Nix from his own 29 yard line. Well protected, floats one to the sideline, on time to Javarius Johnson. That's a big throw for Bo Nix. And that puts Brian Harson's team in a hole. Here's Nix on third down. Bottled and dropped. Demetrius Robertson had it in his hands and could not hold on. He made that tough on Robertson. So Chapman to punt again. Big punt. Chapman a jump pass into traffic and it's broken up. Auburn tried the trick play. They trumper defense can get a stop as Mississippi State starts in plus territory. Rodgers, he's going to take a shot on first down right between the hash marks. He's got Jaden Wally and right back into the red zone for the Bulldogs. So Moultrie out, play clock down to two. Rodgers takes the snap into the end zone. Touchdown to Malik Heath. And that's just going to make the crowd here at Auburn that much angrier. As with 5.31 to go, Mississippi State, an extraordinary comeback. They extend their lead. Call on T.D. Moultrie. And Bill Rogers makes it stand up. His sixth touchdown pass of the day. Nick's on second down and 10. Again, he's going to hoist one to the sideline. That one right down the chimney. Drops it into Kobe Hutt. Mississippi State brings a delayed blitz. Bo Nix, he's got a man open. Down inside the five, reaching the ball out. Javarius Johnson. And it looks like they'll rule him down at the one. No, check that. I think the official on the goal line signaled touchdown. Did he reach it out and break the plane? The official said, yeah, of, I, of, I like the analytics, and I certainly understand it when you are down 14. When you're down by that extra point, you have to get it to with at least one of the two scores to have a chance. After further review, the ball carrier was down just short of the goal line. Ooh. Give it to Bixby. And second effort. It looks like he may have gotten in. Yes, there is the Auburn touchdown. You have to have it. Nick's on a rollout. Under pressure. It's intercepted. Picked off at the goal line. Fred Peters picked it off. And with 3.37 to go. And early. And is able to beat OU. There's a run for Dylan Johnson. He breaks free. Dylan Johnson with a first down and more. Hurdles a man and stays in bounds at the 24-yard line. Don't, don't get it. Then you try again for two. And then you have a chance to tie and force overtime. There's a reason they did it, though, right? I mean, Coach Harson, I think, was obviously stating, I don't think we can stop them continually. A wheel so route on third down, broken up, intended for Woody Marks, and that actually, for the incompletion, yeah. is from 40 yards out. But he distance, hits the upright. So all the extra points have found their way home this part. Four-man rush. And he's backing up. And now lost the football. Did he get it back? Mississippi State thinks they have it, and they do. 
Randy Charlton gets the strip set. And Mississippi State recovers with 2.48 to go. And Auburn. And he's never out of it. Doesn't matter what the score is. And he puts his quarterback maybe at harm's way here. Will Rogers gets taken down behind the line of scrimmage. There's no need for Mississippi State to snap the ball again. And they can just go to the locker room with a 43-34 win. And it looks like that will now be the case. As that will be the game's final play. What a comeback for Mike Leach's team. Down 28-3 with six minutes to go before halftime. They complete the largest comeback in school history. And their win in the opener against Louisiana Tech is now the second largest comeback.